Hello, this is Miss Augustine, and today we are in Chapter 8, and we're going to talk about how you go about predicting combustion reactions. So, for starters, let's define it. A combustion is when an element or compound is reacting with oxygen, and I mean elemental oxygen, O2. And it always, in addition to whatever products are formed, produces heat and light. And so the product of a combustion of an element is the element oxide. It combines with oxygen. And so that's kind of like a synthesis. And the second type is a combustion of a hydrocarbon. And in that case, the products are super easy to predict. They're always carbon dioxide and water. So we're going to look at them one at a time. So there's two types of combustion, as I just pointed out, um, that we're going to look at. The combustion of an element which would be element plus O2, oxygen, yields the element oxide. And the second case, the combustion of a hydrocarbon, where you have some CXHY, where X and Y are your subscripts, plus oxygen, but the product is always CO2 and H2O. You don't have to think about it. Just write CO2 and H2O and balance it. So again, we'll look at them one at a time. So we'll start with the combustion of an element. And in the combustion of an element, it's really a synthesis or combination reaction, which we've done before. And your product will be the element oxide. It's combining. And so an example here would be magnesium plus oxygen, and you get magnesium oxide. And to, produ to predict these, you use the same general procedure that you would follow for any synthesis or combination reaction. So, remind ourselves of the rules for predicting a synthesis or combination. First thing you have to do is determine the charges of each element, of each atom. So, figure out what ion it's going to form, remembering that metals form positive ions, and oxygen, being a non-metal, forms a negative ion. And then we use that crisscross method to crisscross the charges to get the formula with the correct subscripts. Then you write that formula and you balance your equation. So a couple of examples of an element and oxygen forming the element oxide. Example one, aluminum plus oxygen. And I've balanced this for you. But where did this come from, the Al2O3? So we have to remember that aluminum forms a plus three ion. It's a group three metal. And oxygen is a group six non-metal. So it always forms a negative two. Six minus eight is negative two. And then we crisscrossed the charges to get these subscripts. And then, as you'll see, I went in and balanced it. Example two is magnesium with oxygen to produce magnesium oxide. And I want to remind you that magnesium is a group two metal, so it forms a plus two ion. And oxygen is still a group six non-metal, so again, its charge is negative two. But because the charges are the same, we can't write Mg2O2 since we have to write the formula with the lowest whole number ratio for binary ionic compounds. So since this is a metal with a nonmetal, it's ionic, and we have to follow the rules for writing the correct formula. So it would just be MgO. So now look at the combustion of a hydrocarbon. So hydrocarbons contain carbon and hydrogen. And sometimes if you're looking at um, things like sucrose, it might contain oxygen as well. And so I'm going to give you this formula. And this formula makes it a little bit easier to balance because these can be difficult to balance. So where the subscript for C is X and the subscript for H is Y, then the coefficient for oxygen can be found by taking this x and this y and using this formula. x plus y divided by 4, O2, yields x, CO2. And again, this x comes from the subscript for carbon. And y divided by 2 is the coefficient for water, where y is, again, this subscript for hydrogen. So notice that the products are carbon dioxide and water. And let's look at an example. This is the combustion of a compound called butene. Its formula is C4H8. So going in here, C4H8 plus 6O2 yield 4CO2 and 4H2O. Where did I get these numbers? This 4 
comes over here and is the 4 in front of carbon dioxide. That's my x. And then this 6 is 4 plus 8 divided by 4. 8 divided by 4 is 2. 4 plus 2 is 6. That's where that comes from. And then for um, water, the coefficient is y divided by 2. And 8 divided by 2 is 4. So again, balancing these can be challenging. You don't have to use this formula if you don't want to, but you'll find that it is super, super helpful. And so to review in predicting combustions, if it is a hydrocarbon combining with oxygen, then you know that the products are CO2 plus H2O and you balance it. If it's an element with oxygen, and then in many cases it will be a metal plus oxygen, it is a combustion, but it's also a combination. So you will follow the rules for predicting synthesis slash combination reactions. So I hoped this helped. This is Miss Augustine signing off.